If you're just joining us, breaking news, Season 3 of HQ is happening this Wednesday, March 20th. Mark it down. We're taking off tomorrow and Tuesday. That's right, no games. Blackout 2019, HQ Blackout. Gear up for Wednesday night. That's going to be big. Right now, we're doing the one. I'm not going to stop asking questions until there's one of you left. So what do you say? $10,000 on the line. We have 400 and something thousand of you live in the game right now. Let's get down to the nitty gritty. We are live at 905 Let's get this show on the road. Cumero, numero uno, baby. According to an old saying, time flies when you're having what? Fun, lunch, a baby. Of course, among frogs, the saying goes a little differently. Time's fun when you're having flies, which uh, makes a good amphibious lunch. But for we humans, time flies when you're having a fun. Time's gonna fly tonight. I sure hope it does. I got a lot of questions to get through. 364,161. Got one correct, just one question of perhaps 20, 25, 30 questions tonight. Who knows how long it's going to go? Well, Q2, it's happening right now. Shamrocks are the national flower of what place? Antarctica, Ireland, or the H universe? I object, Your Honor. This question is a travesty of a mockery of a sham of a mockery of a travesty of two mockeries of a sham. If you don't know this, well, and if you're wearing green... Mm, you don't deserve it. Take that green off. Come on. Ireland. Shamrocks. It was on my jacket. Shout out my Danny boys and wild Irish roses. Treat yourself to a shamrock shake. Ireland. 358,404. Irish eyes are smiling tonight. When Irish eyes are smiling, watch out. I saw that on a t-shirt once. You're getting Q3, baby. All 350,000 plus of you. Which of these animals is a bovine? horse, goat, or cow. Thanks to our Latin progenitors, we have fancy book learn names for pretty much every animal. For dogs, canine, wolves, lupine, and cows, bovine. Nothing beats a stroll in cattle country. <laughs> Cow! Who's Moo Venon? Woo, doggy. Or I should say, ooh, cowie. 296,978, graduating from Bovine University. Come on, let's take a peek at the killing floor. It's not really a floor. It's Q4. Which pair of words has no universally accepted contraction? Let us, there will, or am not. Contractions are when you squoosh two words into one, usually tipped off by an apostrophe in there somewhere. But even though let's and there'll are commonly accepted in our lexicon, amint never really caught on. And ain't is considered a vulgar corruption. Therefore, am not is your answer. Ooh, ho, ho, ho. We just lost 80,000 plus you on that one, really? At Q4, 205,233 knew that am not ain't the old gray mare. She ain't what she used to be. Well, 80,000, you ain't in the game no more. Q5, what note is not in a C major chord as typically played on the piano? G, F minor, or E? Sing us a song, you're the piano man. Sing us a song tonight. I'm singing a song of $10,000. And use a C major chord in this song, okay? I like the black keys, okay? But you shouldn't be touching any of them if you're playing a C major chord. It's just C, E, and G notes. F minor? Get the F out of here. No thank you, Mr. Minor. <laughs> Got a little cough. I'm still getting over. 142,073. Getting over Q5. The only minor I stand is Harold Minor. Baby Jordan. Q6. Which of these American cities dyes its river green to celebrate St. Patrick's Day? Chicago, Boston, or New York? Now, this has been a tradition since 1962. Carried out by the Rowan and Butler families who use a secret recipe to turn this downtown river into what looks like a nuclear waste site. Look at that. Shikasha. Shish kebab. Shawshank Redemption. Chicago. Chicago, Chicago, that title in town. 114,787. Taking a Boeing onto Q7. It's not a Max 8, don't worry. The rest of you green with envy that you didn't get that one right. One of you is going to be green with actual green. A lot of it, $10,000. Q7. Which of these ingredients is not typically included in corned beef and cabbage? Corn, beef, or cabbage? 
Seems simple, doesn't it? Who's hungry? So those from Ireland. <coughs> oh boy. Ah, coughing up some green stuff here. <clears throat> Celebrating the holiday, what can I say? This dish is about as Irish as spaghetti and meatballs, okay? But to Irish Americans, it doesn't get more traditional than corned beef and cabbage boiled together with maybe some carrots or potatoes. Oh, you gotta have potatoes, but you won't find corn. No, corn in corned beef? That comes from the corns of salt that are used to preserve the beef. Ah, 114,921, no fool in you. Maybe you had some corned beef and cabbage today. And maybe you then expelled it. Q8, in the book that was the basis for the 1939 film, The Wizard of Oz, what color shoes did Dorothy have? Silver, gold, or red? We're not giving you green as an option here. In 1939, when the movie was made, producers were eager to show off the new Technicolor film, so they ordered a bright blood red ruby slippers. But in Frank L. Baum's original book, published in 1900, Dorothy's pumped up kicks were, hi -o, silver. Yeah, they were silver, not red. Ooh, ooh, mmm, brutal. Brutal Q8, not going full savage here. 40,255, you got silver. One of you is gonna be golden if you answer all the questions tonight. Again, we don't know how many. <laughs> oh, that's attractive. Q9, which sports franchise has retired the number of an athlete who never played for them? Miami Heat, Los Angeles Dodgers, or St. Louis Blues? Glug, glug, glug. <sighs> It's hard to say whether this was a stunt to drum up some press, a sin sincere gesture, or what exactly was going on, but because of his greatness and all he did for basketball, Michael Jordan, number 23, was retired before his final game in Miami by the Heat. And that no player ever again will ever wear number 23 for the Miami Heat here. The Heat is on. The H is O. That's why LeBron had to wear number six when he went to the Heat. Can't wear 23. Ooh, another brutal question here, losing almost 40,000 down to 14,540. You know what? Let's go, Savage. Let's do it. I'm feeling it. Blah. That is Savage as my sore throat. 14,540. Not feeling the Heat yet. You're getting Q10. Ooh, we're getting close, possibly. How is Napoleon III related to Napoleon Bonaparte? Cousin, grandson, or nephew? Think about this one, okay? We're at Q10 here. Grandson would be too obvious, wouldn't it? No. Charles Louis Napoleon Bonaparte, president of France and then emperor, because he liked the sound of that better, was the third son of Napoleon Bonaparte's third brother, making him a nephew. Il est en niveau. Ouais, c'est vrai, hein? Bon boulot for the 12,099 who tapped nephew. You know, your French history. But what do you know about Q11? Huh? Do you know what Q11's about? Maybe it's about a different continent. Q11, Africa's oldest modern republic has a capital named after which of these? A Zulu leader, a British leader, or an American leader? Africa's first and oldest modern republic is Liberia. Retaining its independence from its declaration in 1847 all the way through today, with some hiccups along the way, it's, it's a little rough out there. The capital is Monrovia, named after U.S. President James Monroe. How about that? American leader. 5,000 <coughs> jeepers, creepers, 199 leading the way tonight. By the way, fun fact, the only other national capital named for U.S. president is our own, Washington, D.C., so America and Liberia, tied together. Q12, we have 5,199 in the game right now. Normally this would be the final question, but not tonight. We're going all the way of all the nights for me to have this cough. Where it's the night where I'm, I just gotta keep talking for possibly another 10 minutes. Q12, which of these Asian leaders is not associated with a common type of men's jacket? Jawaharlal Nehru, Mao Zedong, or Hirohito? Hirohito. And by the way, if you're doubting this show is live, well, <coughs> doubt no more. You think they would pre-record this? <laughs> Please. Chickity China, the Chinese chicken. Okay. You have a drumstick and your brain stops ticking. 
I hope your brain didn't stop here. The minimalist, quasi-militaristic Chinese tunic came to be called the Mao suit, and Nehru had his jacket, but Hirohito, he shopped at the men's warehouse. Domo Oregato, to the 2,909 of you who got this one right. Hirohito, Japanese emperor, passed away, oh, 30 years ago, actually. None of you have passed away yet. You're, you're still in this game. You're getting Q13, the 2,909. What does the nonsense title of Iron Butterfly's biggest hit refer to? A neighborhood bar, a place in the Bible, or a famous mobster. And now, please rise for our opening hymn, The Garden of Eden, by I, Ron Butterfly. The story goes, the Garden of Eden was supposed to be the lyric, but it was misinterpreted as in Agada da Vida, baby. And the rest is rock history. You might know the garden as a place in the Bible. Mm -hmm. 1,856 put in their place in the HQ history books, perhaps. One of you will, at least. One of you is going to get there tonight. $10,000. 1856. Won't you come with me now, baby? Take Q14. Well, yet, what Canadian province has the most populated capital city? Quebec, Ontario, or British Columbia? The Great White North. Home of Tim Hortons, Beaver Tails, and really good roti. Yeah, good Caribbean food up there. The capital of British Columbia is Victoria. Population 85,000. It's tiny. Capital of Quebec is Quebec. La Vie de Quebec. With a little over 500,000 people. Both way smaller than the capital of Ontario, Toronto. With 2.7 million hose heads. 1,222. Still in this to win this. <laughs> oh, God. Is there a, uh, a lozenge? Could we get a Ricola? Ricola, I need you right now. Q15 for the 1222 still in this game. At the 75th Annual Oscars, who had appeared in three of the five Best Picture nominees? Michael Caine, John C. Riley, or Benicio Del Toro? I hope whoever wins tonight will send me some money to uh, buy some cough drops. Venmo. One way to maximize your chances of bringing home Oscar gold is to be in everything, and that's just about what this guy did for the 2003 festivities by being in the Hours, Gangs of New York, and Chicago. But alas, John C. Riley, he still didn't win. He was in three of them, still couldn't win. I mean, his, his best picture didn't. The movie didn't win. Still, great actor. Love you, John C. Dewey Cox. 581 are walking hard. For your health with Steve Brule. Check it out. Check it out. You're getting Q16, 581. We're down to triple digits, folks. <sighs> Breathe. Which classic rock song does not use the famous Bo Diddley beat? Magic Bus, Not Fade Away, or Honky Tonk Women? Do, 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 do. Bo Diddley caught a nanny goat. Do, 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 do. Makes pretty baby a Sunday coat. With that 1955 riff, as American as a chugging locomotive, Bo inspired songs like Bowie's Panic in Detroit, George Michael's Faith, you gotta have faith, 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 uh, uh, and the Rolling Stones, please go home, but not there. Honky Tonk Women. So Honky Tonk Women is your answer. Not fade away, uh, 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 not fade away. 297 of you not fading away yet. Hoop up, magic bus. You are boarding the magic bus to Q17. We're under 300 now. One of you's getting that 10K. Yeah, baby, Q17. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right. BA is a sequence first associated with what video game company? Atari, Konami, or Capcom? <coughs> Yeah, get it out. Get it all out. <clears throat> Any gamers in the game right now? Well, I guess all of you technically are. This code has turned up all over the place in recent years, but it started in the 80s and became most famous for its use as a cheat code in Contra, plus dozens of other games by Konami. It's the Konami code. Oh, not fooling you guys here. 246. You know your, of course you know your games. You got this far. You're playing a game right now. I assume this isn't the first game you've played. You, you played Contra. You know your stuff. You know your cheat code. There's no cheat code in HQ, unfortunately. 
You just got to use your brain to make it rain. Q18. Which of these countries has the most elements on the periodic table named for places within it? Poland, Sweden, or Russia? Poland, Sweden, Russia. This is a very cool question, as I will reveal. Poland has but one element named for it. Polonium. Makes sense. Russia has three. Ruthenium, Muscovium, and Dubnium. But Sweden has five. Holmium, Yttrium, Terbium, Erbium, and Eterbium. Those last four are all named for the village of Itterby. Yeah, there's a one little island, Itterby, has four elements named after it. Sweden is your answer. And look at that. We got an even 100. Keeping it 100 at Q18, the century mark, the C note. Look, I don't think I've ever seen 100 even in H. I've been doing this show, show now for almost two years, if you can believe it, if you count the beta. And this is the first time I'm seeing 100 HQDs in a game. But this isn't the HQ100, this is the HQ1. There's gonna be one of you here. Going down to double digits at Q19, methinks, which of these authors wrote a classic book that was almost called Twilight? John Steinbeck, F. Scott Fitzgerald, or William Faulkner? 100 players, $10,000. Only one of you is walking away with it. Listen up, you sparkly vampire fans. Your favorite book and film series might have had another name if this southern gothic master hadn't changed his story from Twilight to The Sound and the Fury. Yeah, William Faulkner wrote that one. The Sound and the Fury, and look at this, a super savage Q19. Oh, the HQ manatee. World star, world star. Well, you broke the savage question graphic. That's how savage this was. We're down to just 14 of you. Oh my gosh, 83 of you as you lay dying. Yeah, you're dying here at Q19. 14 players left screaming, Absalom, Absalom, for Q20. You're getting Q20 right now. Oh, God, this is exciting. Which of these regions is home to an island that uses currency larger than a human? Polynesia, Melanesia, or Micronesia? What? What is this? What? Are they talking? Yeah, no, this is real. It takes about 20 men to carry the biggest of these limestone leviathans, which are legal tender on the island of Yap. Yap! Shut your yap! A community of about 11,000, 11,000 yap, yaponians, all citizens of the Federated States of Micronesia. Do we have the one at Q20? No! We have the six, the sweet six. Micronesia, six of you have traveled so far, you've sailed through these islands of questions, Seven of you are out there at Q20. Six left in the game. Oh, gosh, this is it. Calm, cool, collected. Maintain your composure here. $10,000. Is it life-changing? For some people, it could be. It's a lot of money. $10,000. It's certainly going to change your week. Q21. Blackjack. What was released to the public exactly a week after the first Star Wars film? Nintendo's first console, Battlestar Galactica, or the AD&D Player's Handbook? Oh my goodness. 21 questions we're at. This could be it, folks. We could decide it right here. How about that summer of 77? How nerdtastic could that summer get? Just seven days after the Star Wars galaxy dazzled the world, nerds could pick up the Color TV Game 6, the first tentative game console by Nintendo. Nintendo's first console, and we zero, <laughs> zero. All right, all right. Here's what happens, folks. Here's what happens. We're rolling it over? Is that what we're doing? We're not asking another question. We're, we're, yeah, we're doing another question, right? We're not. Okay, I'm being told that we are, that's it, that, that, that we are rolling over this game to next week because none of you want it tonight. Oh, that hurts. The six of you especially. No, one, just one of you had to guess Nintendo. Just one of you. So sorry. The luck of the Irish was not with you tonight. You came so close so far. That $10,000 will roll over to next week's game. That is right. 
And next week, we're doing Disney villains. Woo! Villainous. Disney villains with a special guest next Sunday. Now it's going to be extra special with $20,000 on the line. Oh, we got to the end of this rainbow, and there's no pot of gold. That's how it happens sometimes. Maybe, uh, maybe we'll take the next few days to uh, rest up. You're, you're going to recover. I'm going to recover. And we're coming back Wednesday. That's right, Wednesday with HQ Season 3, baby. Get hyped. Get pumped. We're giving out over $20,000 on Wednesday night. There, there's going to be, uh, look at this. Uh, words, trivia, HQ Sports, it's all happening Wednesday night, 9 p.m. It all starts. Get into it, Season 3. The points are back. Super wheel for words. You're going to love it. If you want to play words, you can play words tonight, like in five minutes, 9.30. Wait, we got to get out of here. Words is coming up next with Anna Roisman. So that's all for tonight, folks. What a weekend. What a world. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Happy Selection Sunday. Murray State all the way. Sorry, no winners. It happens sometimes. That's, that's the game of life. Ladies and gentlemen, until I see you again, I'm Scott Rogowski signing off. Going to hit those cough drops saying, what you're seeing is a total disregard for all things St. Patrick's Day. All this drinking, violence, destruction of property. Are these the things we think of when we think of the Irish? Good night. Thank <laughs> you.